Hi, Rich Spazano here from Digitally Fearless. And on my YouTube channel, Jerry Widnell requested that I do a pop art of a person's face. And I know it's probably been done before, but so many people repeat things anyway. So I figured I'd give it a try. So let's get started. So I went to stock photos in Unsplash and I just typed face and she came up. So this person was pulled in and I have the link in the description below. And so I brought her into the document and then I did a document. I wanted to change the size. So I resized my document for 150 DPI. Now you can do it any size you want, but be aware that when we do the half tone, yours may have different numbers on it. So I'm just going by the size of my document. So I, I also did a mask ahead of time. So you could see that she's pulled out here. So let's just bring this mask up here to the top. And also I'm gonna make a copy because I always like to keep a backup. So this is my start files and I'm just gonna make a copy here. And then this is done. So I hide the rest, bring my mask out. And the reason you see this is because at the time when I did the mask, I didn't feel like we needed all this extra. So I basically just turned on my crop and make sure it says unconstrained on top. And I just brought it in on either side. So when I did the mask, that's where it was at. So you can bring it into any size you want, but I just felt like this was a good size for me. And I hit apply. I'm calling her the original. And now we're going to duplicate a control or command J. And what we'll do next is we'll convert her to black and white. So we go to right here, up down here, black and white. I may, maybe this is not a great picture because her face looks a little bit washed out, but I just picked this and I'm, I'm just going to use it. And that looks pretty good to me. So now that we have that, I knew, uh, do a new blank layer, change my mode to multiply. So let's uh, pick a pinkish color. Let's see. Um, I'm just moving these around till I pick maybe a little bit lighter. And I'll get a close up. Control or Command Plus brings me closer. And I'm going to, with a paintbrush, so let's just follow. I'm using my left bracket to make the, my brush smaller and my right bracket to make it larger. So I'm just going to fill in all around here. And actually, I think this pink is a little bit too pink. So I may change it afterwards, but let's just get this right now. I'm even going right over the lips because we're going to paint the lips again later. And let's see. Let's go right out there and right there. And just about like that. And I can erase it any time because it's on its own level. And I'm really not liking this pink color very much. So maybe I'll just turn the opacity down some and leave it a little, just a little bit of pink like that. And now we put a new layer and again, go to multiply. So now let's pick a nice blue, uh, something like that maybe, a little darker. Let's do something like that, okay. And we see the blue right there. Maybe in that look, that's good. So let's try that one now. And we go here. And if we lower the brush a little, we can come out a little bit here. And if we don't want that much, we can just switch to the eraser. And with a small eraser, we can kind of just decide where we want that to come to. So maybe on an angle like that. Oh, as usual, this is not going to be that pretty, but we'll, I'm just going to keep going. All right, new layer, and let's make it a yellow this time. There we go. Let's make it a really bright yellow, and we'll call this yellow hair. So I'll call it yellow in case we do more yellow. And do multiply again, and we take our paintbrush, and with the right bracket, I'm making it larger, and I'm just going to start painting around. Now, it doesn't matter how far out you go because I have a mask over everything right now. 
and that's what that top layer is. And I'm doing this again very quickly. I don't want this tutorial to be very long because I believe there have been many tutorials like this. Many of them though were in Photoshop. So this person was asking that I do it in Affinity. And I figured why not? I'm running out of ideas little by little. <laughs> so I'm trying. All the tutorials seem to be repeating themselves, just doing it in different ways, which is okay. Again, I'm doing this quickly. You can be much more careful about this. Let's do another one. New layer, multiply. And I'm going to do red with the paintbrush. We're going to pick a really nice, strong red. And that's good. Get a real close up. And let's start painting lips. All right, let's see what we've got. And let's go down here. We can add the red right to her blouse. So we just start put, putting some red in there. Let's get closer. And again, you could be more careful. But you know, like on Andy Warhol and all these people did it, they weren't careful. They, they actually went out of the lines on this. So don't be afraid to go out of the lines just a little bit. Because when they painted the pop art, they didn't stay within the lines all the time. I'm just going to go back to that yellow again, and I'll just pick a yellow. It doesn't have to be a perfect yellow. And I want to paint back some of this hair here. So now let's go to Layer, Merge Visible. And now we have this one pixel layer. Now let me take all of these, the rest of these, and group them. And I can hide everything else right now. Before we do the half tone, you can leave the colors like this, or if you you could do separate versions if you want. Like I can duplicate it, Control or Command J, and if I wanted this one maybe to be a different color, I can go to HSL, which is in Adjustments HSL, and I can go and change the coloration of that person. And we just play around. We just see what we think looks good. Or if I want to lower the saturation or raise, look at that one. You raise, I'm going to raise that saturation just a bit like that. So here's two versions. And what I'll do is I will, I'll just put this right next to her again. And I'm going to just bring that in the back and hide it. So now we're taking this one and we're going to duplicate it. Control or Command J. And we're going to go to Filters, Color, Halftone. And in halftone, instead of cosine where it says dots go round, and instead of monochrome, say color, and then bring the size way down like this. So in this case, I think I'm going to give it approximately I think I'll go like an 11, maybe a 10, 10 point. Again, it depends on your size, which one you want. So I'll leave that, and then I'm going to change my blend mode. Remember, there's one right underneath, and you can go down the line. Like, I think that looks pretty good. All right, I'm going to go with, I think I'm going to go with soft light. So now we want to give it a background. So let's, um, let's go with the one below the two of them, and let's just now create a rectangle. And if you have snapping turned on, the rectangle will just snap to the borderline. So just like that. And I think we want to do a little bit of contrast. And I'm kind of thinking like almost like an aqua would be a cool look. So now I'm going to also duplicate that one more time. And on the top one of the two backgrounds, I'm going to go filter, color, halftone. And this time... I think I'm going to try, cert I could do lines, but I think I'm going to try circular. And let's bring it pretty far out. Something, maybe, ooh, something like that is kind of cool. And I think that looks good. I'm going to leave it at that and say apply. And then I'm going to multiply it. So 
now that I have the first part, I'm going to do one more time on that same one. I'm going filter, colors, half tone. And this time I'm going to do dots. And what I think is interesting now is see there's different sizes in the dots and that's because of that circular thing that we just had. See, so that's all part of the circle. So I can kind of just go until I feel that's a good look and I'm going to say apply again. I'm going to do a call out. So we're going in here in shapes and call out ellipse tool and I will just call it out right here and make sure that's on top and I will make that white and I will give that a black stroke maybe about that size and I can go a little bit bigger let's type in I love affinity <laughs> photo and I'll give it a font maybe um Let's do comic, C-O-M-I-C, should be comic sans. And I can make that maybe a red, I'll center it. And then we have to put a border, don't forget the border. The border is pretty interesting too. But let's do that and a little bold and let's give it a color of maybe the red to stick with what we have here. And now we're gonna do a border. So one more time, I have to go to layer, merge visible. So we go to effects and we pick outline and we want the outline to be on the inside, not the outside. And we keep going and I don't want it to be black. Let's go white and that looks okay. And then what I need to do is change it. Instead of a solid color, I'm going to do contour. And what contour does is it gives me this gradient, but I'm gonna change this gradient. I am going to make it First, I'm going to reverse it so the shading is on the inside. But now I'm going to make this part. It is black right now. I'm going to insert. And I'm going to insert a white and move that white right next to the black like that. And maybe insert one more and move that one there and make that one pure black. So I think that works out pretty good. And that's it. So I hope you like this tutorial. I, it is not really great. I'm not happy with the face at all, but you can work with it and pick out different colors. <laughs> it is, as usual, it is what it is. I try to do them very quickly and I try to pretty much do it live, except for my oohs and ums. Sometimes I cut them out. So if you, Found this <laughs> oh, geez. So if you found this tutorial useful, please click like and subscribe and have a great day. Thank you. Bye.